Today we will discuss the projections of product spaces. The projections play a very important role in product spaces. Let us define. Let xt and yv be two topological spaces and x cross y be the product space. Then the mapping pi x from product space x cross y to topological space x which maps x comma y to x for every x comma y in x cross y is called the projection of the product space x cross y on x. And similarly, the mapping pi y from product space x cross y to topological space y which maps x comma y to y for every x y in x cross y is called the projection of the product space x cross y on y. So there are two projections. Actually x cross y is the product of two topological spaces x and y. So there are two projections pi x and pi y such that domain of each projection is x cross y and codomain is one of the coordinate spaces x and y. The projections are nothing but mappings. Now we shall prove a theorem which tells us some important properties of these projections. Let xt and y v be two topological spaces and let x cross y w be the product space of x and y. Then the projections pi x and pi y which we have defined are continuous and open mappings. Further, we have to prove that the product topology W is the closest topology for which the projections are continuous. So first we have to prove that projection pi x and pi y are continuous and open. And we know that pi x is a mapping from x cross y to x which maps x comma y to x for every x y in x cross y. And we have to prove that pi x is open. So we have to show that inverse image of any x open set is open in x cross y. Inverse image of any t open set is w open set. So let t, let g be a t open set. Then inverse image of g under pi x is equal to g cross y. We can check this because if we take image of g cross y, then its image will be equal to g. Why? Because g is a subset of x and we know that pi x maps any element of x to that element itself. So here we have pi x of x comma y is equal to x. So if we take any element of g here then we the image of that element of g will be that element under pi x. And so we can say that image of g cross y under pi x is g and so we can say that pi x inverse of g is equal to g cross y. And since g belongs to t, y belongs to v, so this is a w basic open set in x cross y. This is because we know that base of w consists of sets which are cross product of members of t and v. And so this is an element of the base so we can say that this is open in x cross y. So we have shown that inverse image of any g open set is w open. So we can say that pi x is w t continuous. Similarly we can show that pi y is w v continuous. Next we show that pi x is an open mapping. So we have to show that image of any w open set 
under pi x is t of x. So you take u a w open set and we have to show that pi x of u is t of x and we know that E collection of sets of the form g cross h where g belongs to t h belongs to v is a base of w. So any element of w can be written as union of some members of this collection. So let u is equal to union of g cross h, g belongs to t, h belongs to v and g cross h belongs to some sub collection e dash of e. And if we take pi x image of u then we have here pi x of image of right hand side and then we can write here union of pi x image of g cross h where g cross h belongs to e dash and since g is a subset of x and by definition of pi x pi image of g cross h under pi x is nothing but g. So here we have union of g, g belongs to t and g cross h belongs to e dash. Since each g belongs to t and union of members of topology t is also a member of t. So right hand side is a member of t implies left hand side is a member of t that is pi x of u belongs to t. So we have shown that image of any w open set is t open under pi x. So we can say that pi x is an open mapping. Similarly, we can show that pi y is an open mapping and it remains to show that w is the closest topology for which projections are continuous. Let w star be any topology on x cross y for which projections are continuous. Actually, if we want to show that w is the closest topology for which projections are continuous, then we have to show that any topology on x cross y for which projections are continuous is finer than the topology w. Then only we can say that w is the closest topology for which projections are continuous. So here we are taking a topology w star on x cross y for which projections are continuous. And we take any member u which is w open. So we want to show that u also belongs to w star. Then we can say that w star is finer than w. So let, w, let u be a w open set. Then u can be written as union of some members of base. So that union of g cross h where g cross h belongs to e dash is contained in E. And since G is a subset of X, so G cross H can be written as G intersection X cross, since H is a subset of Y, so H can be written as Y intersection H. And by set theory, we know that this is this uh, G intersection X cross Y intersection H is equal to G cross Y intersection x cross h and this um, g cross y is equal to pi x inverse of g because we have um, earlier seen that pi x image of g cross y is g so g cross y can be written as pi x inverse of g intersection here, here um, x cross h um, is equal to pi y inverse of h why? Because we know that pi y image of x cross h is equal to h. Because we know that pi y maps any element of y to that element. So since y is a subset of, since h is a subset of y, so any element of h uh, is uh, equal to h in, in that element of h. And so we can say that uh, x cross y h is equal to pi inverse y y inverse of h. 
that g cross h belongs to e dash. And since this is open, um, pi, um, since pi x is open, so this inverse image under pi x is open in w star. So this belongs, um, this is um, open in x cross y, that means this belongs to w star. And similarly, pi y is open because the projections are continuous. So image of this open set of V is open in W star, uh, in um, open in X cross Y, so belongs to W star. So um, these are um, in W star, so their in their intersection is also in W star. And since this is an element of W star, so their union is also an element of W star. So this right hand side belongs to W star. And this left, right hand side is equal to U. So we can say that U belongs to W star. And we have taken U a member of W and we have shown that U belongs to W star. So you so every member of w belongs to w star so we can say that every w open set is w star open which implies that w is coarser than w star as w star is any topology on x cross y for which projections are continuous and hence w is the coarsest topology on x cross y for which the projections are continuous. Thank you.